Hey, boys and girls, Mr. Pals here. Nice to see you have an amazing book on weather, and weather absolutely fascinates me. I'm always looking more about it, you know, looking up to the sky to see what the clouds are going to tell us. You know, sometimes excited about a snow day that's coming up. And you know I like the rain. It's by Carol Hoskin. And it's a nonfiction story. I'm just so excited. Introduction. Everyone wants to know what the weather will be like. There are many ways to find out about the weather. We can find out what the weather will be like by listening to the radio. We can find out what the weather will be like by reading a newspaper. We can find out what the weather will be like by watching TV. We can find out what the weather will be like by looking at the sky. That's how I do it. Very revealing. Weather clues. People have been watching the weather for thousands of years. Patterns in nature gave them clues as to what the weather might be like. A red sky at night should bring clear weather the next day. Cirrus clouds usually mean wind is coming. Dew on a cobweb can mean a nice day ahead. Culeal nimbus clouds usually need, usually bring rain. Culeal nimbus. Sometimes people made up sayings to help them remember weather clues. While these are fun to recite, they're not always true. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Rings around the moon or sun mean that rain will surely come. Seagulls sitting in the sand mean that rain is close at hand. What is the weather? Weather is made up of the temperature of the air, the amount of moisture in the air, the wind, and the weight of the air. All of these ch keep changing and moving around. This means our weather changes too. Air temperature. Of all the things that make up our weather, the temperature of the air is the most important. Temperatures are warm or cool depending on how much sunshine reaches us or whether there's a warm or cool wind blowing. A thermometer tells us what the temperature is. Moisture. All air has some moisture. Clouds are moisture that we can see in the air. Fog is moisture that we can see in the air. Sometimes moisture falls to the earth as rain or snow. A rain gouge measures the amount of rain that has fallen. Amazing. Wind and air pressure. All air weighs something. And it is almost always on the move. The differences in the weight of air or air pressure cause it to move. When air moves, it's called wind. Wind is important because it moves warm or cool air and moist or dry air from place to place. You can feel wind moving. The pointer on a weather vane shows us where the wind is coming from. A wind sock blows with the wind. The point of the sock shows us where the wind is going. A cup an anemometer tells us the speed at which the wind is blowing. The cups spin faster and the wind blows harder. A barometer measures the weight of the air. When the barometer is rising, we expect good weather. When the barometer is falling, we expect bad weather. Weather maps, so cool. Weather satellites take pictures of the Earth's weather. The pictures are received on a computer. Here is a picture from a weather satellite. The red outline has been added to show the, the land. The greens, yellow, and blues are clouds. The green shows where it is raining. This picture shows only the clouds that are raining. Weather reports. Most of our weather reports come from people who are studying the weather. These people are called meteorologists. A meteorologist checks many instruments to help decide what the weather will be like. This map 
is being made from information collected by a weather satellite. It will be used to help us help tell us what kind of weather we can expect. All right, we got a glass right here. Air pressure, the weight of air. Rain gouge, instrument used to measure rainfall. Air temperature, the amount of warmth or coolness we feel. Thermometer, an instrument used to measure air temperature. Weather vane, a pointer which moves in the wind and tells us the direction from which the wind is coming. Anometer, an instrument used to measure the speed of wind. Barometer, an instrument used to measure air pressure. Wind sock, an open-ended cloth cone which points to where the wind is going. Meteorologist, a person who studies the weather. Absolutely enjoyed it. Hope you did too. See you soon, boys and girls.